three questions that got sent in. So if you have a question, put it in the comments. I'm answering them now on these videos. Also, many of these questions came from my Reset Academy, which is a membership group where my, me and my team of coaches and my master experts are teaching uh, women specifically how to heal themselves and how to build a lifestyle that works for them. So if you're interested in that, we'll leave links for that. But here we go. Three different questions. The first, and I'm going to go through these really fast. The first is what herbs naturally boost autophagy? So berberine is one. You'll see those a lot of those in supplements. The other one that I like that I've leaned into a lot is bergamot. Here's a funny little thing. Many of you know that B Minerals is one of my favorite companies. I just love the heart of the people. I love the products. And they have this thing that's called a happy light spray. I'm just telling you this because I love it. And it's bergamot in it. And so I keep it by my desk and I spray it on myself. It smells really good. I wish you could smell it. And But bergamot in any way into the body is always going to have this self-cleaning effect. We also know herb-wise, we can look at ginger, we can look at garlic, cinnamon. Cinnamon's going to boost your metabolism. So you're not out of herbs. The list is long. And don't, don't, you know, I think there's a tendency when something comes from the earth and it's so simple, we dismiss its potency. And I'm going to ask you to not do that when you hear these things because we've overcomplicated health. And it's really important that we come back to what earth, the, the, the earth and nature has provided for us. The last herb and the most famous one for autophagy is resveratrol. You can get resveratrol in, I know you're going to say, I know what you, many of you are thinking in wine, but that would be a little counterbalance. Not like you can drink wine every night and, and the fountain of youth kicks in. Um, so we can look at grapes and berries as being a really good source of resveratrol. So those are just some notes to think about. The second question was, are there other ways to get the benefits of autophagy? Yeah, I've done some videos on that. I will leave the links to those videos here. HIT training. We've talked a lot about HIT training. My new book's going to have some fun things on HIT training. But that HIT training where you're like sucking air, you're like... <sighs> Like that will stimulate autophagy. That's one of one of my favorite ways that that I that I, that I'll throw out here is the way in which you exercise matters. And then the third question that was asked was how does autophagy help with aging and longevity? So this is really important. And if you've made it this far through the video, thank you. And what I want you to know is that we are in a real health crisis it doesn't matter where you live in the world but there are so many things that are speeding up aging speeding up disease and shortening longevity so we if you're doing nothing you are actually on a collision course with chronic disease the statistics are are working against you so we've got to turn to things like autophagy and we have to find ways to naturally stimulate them throughout the day. So it helps with aging because it takes these cells that are aging very quickly and it cleans them up and it slows that aging process down. So for example, let's use like, well, let's use the liver. The liver is a great one. Your liver will actually recirculate about, I think the last statistic I saw is it's like every year your liver cells will regenerate themselves. So what that means is if you have an, eight, an old cell in the liver and it goes to regenerate itself, it will regenerate old cells. Whereas if you stimulate that cell yet clean it up, when it goes to regenerate, it will regenerate a more youthful cell. So by doing autophagy on a regular basis, what you're doing is you're literally creating an internal fountain of youth. You don't need to be spending thousands of dollars on all these products when you have it within your own body. So, and that's, the, I mean, I could go on and on about autophagy, but it is one, this is why my, my, literally my whole YouTube channel was built off of this term and people wanting to understand it. So hopefully that was helpful. And because so many of you are so educated on everything that I teach here, but specifically autophagy, 
put in the comments if what your favorite way to stimulate autophagy is. I don't, we're a great community here. I want people to understand as much information about this powerful internal healing response. So if you have other great ways to stimulate autophagy, please put it in the comments. But please know autophagy isn't necessarily about finding the perfect supplement. Autophagy is about doing the right lifestyle choices so that you can stimulate it from within. Make sense? Okay, hope that helped.